We are here with Courtney Lee and Kelly, some delightful Twi'lek cosplayers. And we want to take a quick minute to talk to you about your costumes, how are you enjoying the con, and what your biggest hurdles were getting over through this whole cosplay thing that you do. So first off, how are you enjoying this convention? It's awesome. It was definitely my busiest year so far. I've been doing this this particular convention for about five years now. And this was definitely the one where I was on the verge of crying. I do commissions as well, so I had like 10 different other people's costumes, and then including mine, and my booth helpers, and my boyfriends. Um, so. Do you have anybody, uh, anybody wearing costumes that you worked on here at this convention this I year? I actually do. I just passed one oh, awesome. that uh, ordered off my website. Um, and I kind of went up to him and freaked him out a little bit. That has to be a, that has to be a little fun, just kind of walking through a convention hall and just seeing right. like, oh, I hey, did that. I recognize that. Nice. Yeah, and then my boyfriend's wearing my costume. Uh, one of the guys that's wandering up here is Spider-Man, going to be wearing my costumes uh, two days, I believe. Um, I have about ten costumes that I know of that are here. Very so. good. I love that. Now, um, I, we had been talking a little bit briefly before the interview, and you said these are original character <laughs> costumes. Yes. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your original characters? Uh, mine is actually a Sith. Her name is Darth Moros. Mm -hmm. um, she comes from a very abusive, kind of like slave background. Uh, she's of Tobruda, and she is... My boyfriend actually plays my apprentice, who's downstairs um, at one of the photo booths. And uh, yeah, she's kind uh, of a mean a couple of the cosplays bitch. together. <laughs> Now, now that's a rich, dynamic character backstory. And yours? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this happened today. She just had this lying around because that's what she does. So I decided to throw on my whole kitty glasses and I'm a hipster today, so. She's a trend no. setting to like. Who starts trend trends and then stops them because everyone starts wearing it. See, yeah, at that point, you know, everybody's into the whole yeah, Twilight thing. Yeah, but done. But how great is it to have friends that just have this sort of <laughs> right? stuff lying around? It's a lot of fun. Wonderful. So you guys are having a great time here at the convention oh, yeah. so far. Busy, but awesome. But I wanted to ask, you know, doing cosplay, what are the biggest hurdles that you faced? Uh, definitely trying things that are new. I went to a fashion college, so I know kind of the basics of making patterns and sewing, but there's no college for, like, let's make leku. Yes. <laughs> so you kind of have to figure all that on your own, and um, that's probably the biggest thing, making big, giant headpieces. Isn't the internet just such a great resource, though? Right? Oh. YouTube, man! <laughs> So I learned everything from YouTube, and I just got into resin casting, so I'm learning new things every day. And that's great. You had also mentioned that you have a website yes. that you sell and do commissions through, and what website would that be, and where could people find you? I am on Facebook uh, at, under Courtney Lee Creations, and I'm also on Etsy for Courtney Lee Creations. So perfect. yeah, I do my business through email, Etsy. through shop, through shops, and Facebook, and whatever people want to contact me through. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for, for taking the time to, to speak with us. And uh, I've just had a great time talking to you. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs>